thank you very much. We have time for a couple of questions. Let me just start. Could you please elaborate a little bit the, uh, the high frequencies of uh, asynchrony that you saw in your patients? Do you think it could be a special population or the, the uh, mechanical problems related to bronchiolitis? Or, or what, is, what, what, is, what is behind this? Um, in fact, I'm not certain that it's only uh, uh, depending on the conditions in bronchiolitis. Of course, bronchiolitis is a, is a particular um, um, condition with a resistive load and uh, um, some restrictive um, uh, uh, aspect also. But uh, in fact, when I, we compared the asynchrony, the numbers, uh, the, the figures uh, with the asynchrony index in the bronchiolitis group as compared to the old group, it was not different. So I think it's more in the run to the, um, the technology and uh, probably the SIMV. In, in fact, I will uh, talk ab uh, about that more in detail in the afternoon, but uh, the, m the really important thing is that in uh, conventional uh, ventilation in the acute phase, most of the patients are, uh, are, are have an uh, uh, almost suppressed uh, respiratory drive. And th this is probably very important for the, the generation of asynchrony. Any more questions there? Thank you for your very interesting uh, presentation. I wanted to ask, what was the NAVA level you were using in your patients? That's the first question. And the second one, do you think in patients with, with bronchiolitis, if they have uh, tachypnea, do you think that um, uh, the air trapping may also be the issue, like it was discussed previously in COPD patients? Yes. Um, so uh, concerning the NAVA level, it was, a, I, I think, the er, in average in our study, it was 1.4. 1, 1. But uh, it was uh, rather wide. The distribution was rather wide, so be, uh, between 1 and 2.5, I think. And um, concerning the, 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 uh, the air trapping, in fact, this is a, a real question, but I think that uh, asynchrony, uh, asynchronic ventilation uh, may uh, aggravate the, 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 um, the distension of this patient. So probably uh, by uh, in inflating the lungs when the patient wants <laughs> an inspiration, we are probably won't um, uh, exacerbate the distension, but this has to be studied, of course. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much.